Hello and welcome back to Adventure's Edge, Heroes of the Veil, Season 2, Episode 25. Hello. Here we Hello. are. Here we are. We are here. We are. In fact, we are all here <laughs> yep. recording in a weird time for us. Yeah. yeah. We normally record bright and early, and this is an evening recording. Good mm -hmm. evening. It's not unusual for, for me, me to be yeah, here. This is this normally <laughs> this, this is normally when we're playing our regular Pathfinder game. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, I don't know. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are ready to rock and roll. Wacky shenanigans. Wacky shenanigans. I obviously I have just been man, my nerves. Nervous about tonight. You nervous? I am. For us or for you? Yes. I'm never nervous for me. <laughs> oh. I, I you know, I no, I always hope you guys win every time, no matter what mm -hmm. preparation I do. I, I just, just a little nervous. Okay. But you guys, as as uh, Pike pointed out at the end, you're you're, you're practically God. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Words that will never come back to bite me. I planned accordingly. So, cool. Mm. Bring it. Great. <laughs> um. Anyway, so we've already. Uh, I guess let's not let's not bury the lead too much. You guys leveled up. Yeah, we did. We did. For for everybody who did not stay after the. After the recording the end last time. I'm yeah. sorry. Somebody didn't stay through all of the end credits and music and everything? <laughs> well, you know what? If you didn't, you should pause right now. <laughs> Go back. Yeah. You would find out one. You'd First, you'd find out the party leveled up. Mm. The second thing you would find out is there was a secret end credit scene <gasps> of villainy. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, I didn't hear that. <laughs> that the party here has not, they, they have no access to here. Oh. But it is recorded. It will be available. It's going to be released. It's already scheduled. I can't change it. But it reveals things about the bad guy and his machinations. Oh, you are an evil So you can't bastard. say that I, like, I know. Mm -hmm. Like, I have, I've done next to, I mean, there's been a couple scenes throughout the full run like uh, some behind the scenes where where and I don't you guys probably never even caught it because they're like little bonus scenes, um, but yeah. Uh, so if you didn't listen to that, you should you should pause this, go back, scroll all the way to the end, check that out. It'll set this. It'll set the tone. Uh, <laughs> the looks on their faces. <laughs> it's we're gonna find out that he's just retiring. It's all it is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, enough of this evil stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this for my retirement. I should be enjoying yes. my my later years. <laughs> well, I know what we're going to be doing on the break. <laughs> no, it hasn't posted. No, yet. it hasn't. No. Yeah, no, That's no, the thing. Oh. no, no. Yeah, we we can't don't. even go listen to Monday it. Monday morning, oh, absolutely. Monday not. morning. Oh yeah. my goodness, you're evil. Yeah, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like his evilness. <laughs> the evil is here in the room with us. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we? Oh, so yeah. So six level. You guys uh, have lots of new powers and abilities. Do we want to just reveal them in progress? Does anybody want to share anything? Anything super exciting that you're just like, oh, you want to say something about it or just let's go? I get to, Talk. I get to be an animal one more time. Oh, yeah. okay. And I can be a large animal. <gasps> oh. Yay. And then a couple of feet I'm going to move around. So if you guys just want to travel around on just a giant, giant eagle. Mm. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That is cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Not yet, though. I mean, large, technically giant eagles are large. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people could fly on a giant eagle. I don't know. But, but I know, you know. But you can fly like an eagle. I was wondering if, <laughs> if I could get narrow frame for my druid form. <laughs> <laughs> narrow frame. <laughs> That is my favorite. <laughs> I love narrow frame. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, well, I, that could be exciting. Anybody else got anything that they want to throw out? I did not choose fireball. Hmm. I thought that I was know the someone spell you're who talking did. about. But... I did not. Oh. I know yes, someone I know. who did. Mm. Oh. Oh. It's for dealing with those situations where the the opponent has no brain and is immune to psychic attacks. Mm. Do you have the ability to shape that? Nah. No. Good to know. Man, <laughs> fire. 
Hold on. I need to go in here. Get and evasion select, is a feat. <laughs> select all on bad guys and copy and paste. So there's <laughs> just multiply. <laughs> Oh, there's, they're gonna be like gremlins. That was gonna, gonna be a surprise there, but you know, thanks for. Sorry, is well, there? I can okay. make two attacks now. That makes me happy. Is there a monster that multiplies when you give a certain kind of damage to it, like a gremlin? Uh, <laughs> there are some monsters that oh, get no. stronger, like shambling mounds. Yeah, annoyingly, like, get stronger. You need to find a monster that fire just replicates it. Mm, that's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Somebody ha- that can now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? Out of the hundreds and hundreds, and hundreds. <laughs> of monsters out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that changes things. Mm. Plus, I also know what the fairy got, and I'm. Yeah. I mean, it's I like, sent you my character sheet. So you know what? It honestly, have been a surprise. Well, honestly, uh, I'll be. Honest, I didn't look. I like to be surprised sometimes. I do. I actually players. didn't even look at. You know, I appreciate you sent it, mm-hmm. and um, I. Did not build anything here based on what you guys can or can't do. So, so this take, might this might be a cakewalk. So we can't take it personal when he hurts us. <laughs> this might be this might be the most anticlimactic se- season ender. I don't know. Oh, now you build it up. Way now to you... sell it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. He's going another one after this one about how. <laughs> right, okay. I don't know. We're in for a ride tonight. So, anybody want to do a quick recap? To let us know where we're at, where we're at and where we're going. Well, we're we're back in Raven Rock. Yeah. Yep. Kind of. We, we delivered the bodies of the blades. We're on the lamb right now, kind of right. I mean, we're hiding. We're on the. Yeah. You're you're in the Otter Dome. Yeah, yeah. we're in the Otter Dome. Trying to be, you know, <laughs> on welcome. the down low. Welcome to the Otter Dome. <laughs> yep. And we're making plans about what we're going to do. I think we're planning on sending. Were we going to be sending some? Um, a trolley to deliver information to my patron and to give them the crown and to let them know what's going on and why I'm staying, but to get the crown to mm. a contact. I think that's, I think we were, we were going to divide and conquer. I thought that's the plan we had made. Uh, well. Like we, we were back at the, went back to the trolley. We were trying to figure out. Like, it, yeah, you were you were all in you were you were all in the planning, and we hadn't got to the acting. Basically, yes. you guys you slept, and you had a lot of a lot of talking. Yes, mm-hmm. and I, and I recall the ending was you were going to go kick the door down and take the the uh, doom grinder for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, I think run amok and take control of the kingdom. Or something Basically, like that. you got yeah. it. Amok, 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 amok. <laughs> we were we were deciding what to do with it, but. I think we need to. It, it's a good conversation to have, but I'm I'm ready to find it and let's go get it. Do good with it, mm-hmm. or at least get it away from the baddies' hands. What if we're the baddies? And I have wondered that sometimes. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I know I'm good because I'm cute. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. Mm. Well, <laughs> so am well, I. That. <laughs> Okay, so you've you've had opportunities to look through journals and maps and all these sketches and and um, everything you recovered from uh, Vesrin's from his house at the logging camp and from the secret hideaway place and Derune, your expertise mm-hmm. on ley lines and your understanding of the veil and the notes that you have here, you you're pretty sure that you're able to determine the whereabouts of this thing. Okay. Because it all did come down to um, these ley lines being somehow involved. So I'm going to, I'm going to reveal some ley lines on the map here and then, okay. So I revealed this like triangle uh, that's also sort of bisected by another ley line uh, in the veil. And based on the notes, there's the Gellert keep. So, I've I've added a large hammer there to the center of this triangle ish, and you can kind of see that it connects to to a variety of points in the veil. One of them is kind of on the east side, which you guys haven't explored, and then the other one is actually up in the Dovedell district, way up on the northwest side, which there's this like Taurus Peak, which is kind of a known ley line concentration. Okay, which 
you, you didn't go explore when you were up there. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was another one of those little side quests that uh, you guys were so laser focused. Mm-hmm. And then there's another one that's actually off the map that you're looking at, but it's like up in the, uh, the South Hills. So that's, that's what you got. You, you, you think if, if all these notes are as you expect, mm-hmm. you think it's kind of right there in the heart of the Vale. Um, it's about 15 miles from where you're at, I think. Something like that. It's not that far. Mm-mm. I mean, yeah. I mean, really in the sense of things. A little over, well, it depends on how you travel. Does it, does it give like more of a location of where it is in the sense of underground? Does it say like a temple Y, you know, like. No, then there's, there's nothing like you guys have, or at least somebody has a map of the veil. I think we've talked about that before and there's, there's nothing there. It's a, it's a, it's like a, a mile or so east of a small road that leads down to a, a, a tiny town. The very south of the Vale, okay. so it, there's uh, this, the town of Tallow, and there's like a mine down there. But yeah, this there's really nothing there. It's just a hilly area. There's probably some scattered farms, some sheep farming, and things. But hmm. yeah, you you have no idea why what what could be there. Let's so, just go see. Yeah, I will share this, of course, with my party members. Um, and so. The that we know of that area, it's just occupied land by farmers, and there's no. It is a windmill. Is that what I'm saying? At one end, there's okay. the, is a windmill. Sure, okay. that's where there's just it nothing is. So, so the closest town, would Little be Falls, Little, is Falls, Little Falls, which we've been there before. Yeah. So we have mm-hmm. to decide if we want to go. I mean, through the on the road would be the easiest way, correct? Yeah. I however, think so. however, yeah. if someone's trying to find us. Might not be the best. Well, for a good chunk of it, we'll be skirting of the hollow wood. Sure. So if some, if we do feel like we're being pursued, we could duck in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean, I, you want to just take the the road then? What do you think? I think Maybe. well, if you take the road, it's going to be the fastest because right mm-hmm. now time is it's a race against time. So sure. yeah, you could if they if he knows where it is too, it's a race of who's going to get there first. I'd rather go the fastest way. If it's going to be faster to go via road, then we do it. If we're getting followed, we will deal with that as we come. Okay. I don't care. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff, more than we can conveniently carry, really. Uh, a lot of it, it's really easy to just leave behind because we know we're never going to use it. Mm-hmm. Um like some potions and scrolls and some of the silver and things like that. Is there a place where we could get like one or two bags of holding to help carry that stuff or not in this? I mean, it's not a big enough town, I'm guessing. It's not. Yeah. Okay. So you, you do need to decide what you're bringing with you. Yeah. Cause I, yeah, you acquired, <laughs> I, I hate to just be like denying you the, your riches and we'll have to have a, like a, I don't know, postseason, go mm. to the big city and sell this <laughs> stuff. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but you do need to decide what you're bringing and um, who's got the key, where's it going to be? Um, are, are you like, so right now you mentioned the crown, you haven't made any arrangements on that. You've got it currently hidden in and a it, whole, like a it, secret it, floor stash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm probably the most worried because I know of all the things I, we have, that's the thing that's probably the most important to my patron is that, is that crown because that is the stage, that's the symbol of the dukedom. She also needs to know about the elf problem. Um, she needs to know that the elves are trying something again. I mean, she needs to, they need, they need to rally the troops. They need to know in advance. Well, the simple answer to that is there are trading ships going down the river. We just put it in a plain box, you know, cushion it with a note, send it as if it's a regular parcel, call no attention to it. There's nothing weird about it. It's just someone's going to take it and deliver it. And uh, Yeah. No. No, I mean, that's, we're going to be going off and doing dramatic things, and no one's going to look twice at a trading ship. Um, so trading ship, are you talking like the, the, the trolley ones? Well, there's a variety of them that go up and down the river. I mean, 
a trolley one would be one possibility, depending on what's at the dock right now. But there are ships that make regular runs down to. Wow. Well, yeah. And, and I'm just actually, okay. That, that, that is absolutely possible. That would, that would actually take a, take it a while to get there. Mm-hmm. Cause from where you're at, it's actually a pretty long ways around, but that, yeah. that's something you could do. But I'm just saying, like, is there somebody, is there someone in the town that you, that you, in your village that you would trust to deliver something? If we said, okay, you need to go to the city. This is what you need to do. You bring it to this person. They'll pay you the other half. Cause I can, I can write a note saying this person has brought this. This needs to be brought to the, whoever pay this person. You know, I can, I can work that out and then have them deliver it to a contact in the city. So at least they have that information. So if, if worst case, I, I'm looking at Ismi is looking at is worst case scenario because Morgan's already dead. If I'm dead, no one's going to know about the, the elves to stop anything. So if we fail, letting the patron know is what matters because then she might be able to bring more people to deal with whatever happens. Because if we fail, they need to bring people here because whatever he's going to do with that, it's, he's going to finish the job that he couldn't do 18 years ago. Because I have my suggestion. Trust the post office. Who, is there someone that you guys would trust that could go to the city? I can, like, overland. In overland. Raven Rock? No. I mean, that's also, I mean, that's not a casual trip. It's no. like, a, what do we say? It's like a... A week journey or something. Yeah, I mean, we I can pay them. I mean, we have money. We've gotten money. We can give them some money. We can pay them and say, "Look, this is of a matter of great urgency. We have found something that is potentially dangerous. We need you to deliver this." You don't. I mean, I say you don't tell them anything about it. You don't. You don't want to tempt curiosity. I mean, yeah, you could. You could try to ship <laughs> ship it. Via boat to Kingsbridge and then have it be sent like through a caravan down the highway from Kingsbridge to Hornburg. Mm. That's, that would be, you know, that would be something you could do. Just put a note on the outside saying happy birthday or happy graduation or something. It's just one (laughs) more innocuous thing being Happy graduation. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, that's, if, if you're looking to hedge your bets and think, if you die, you want this taken care of versus yeah. taking your chances and then you taking it there yourself. Right. Because the thing is, is if, if we die, no one, like if I, if Which Ismi, we're not going to do. I know. But if Ismi dies, I mean, Ismi's already buried her friend. If Ismi dies, no one's going to find that crown in the bottom of your, your um, the otter dome. I mean, I could send a message to Bramble and let Bramble know. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. If something ha- or, or even if it could, well, how about this? What if we tell Bramble, if we don't return, there's going to be a note, and, and I can tell her what we're going to do, that she comes in and takes that, and it has to go to Hornburg. Because I'm, I'm just saying we want to have a backup in case something really bad happens. Sure, you could do that too. If you don't want to ship it, like, right now. Right. So, Ismi's going to write an encoded message for her patron, and then on top of it, she'll write a note, carefully package, and make the box look very plain with instructions, and then you can contact Bramble. Okay. Could Bramble, so. could, could Bramble be capable of taking it to Kingsbridge and then on to the Hornbook if things were bad? Oh, yeah. Okay. Capable's one thing, but Bramble is a fawn. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, they would probably be... Less than excited to travel to the giant city of Kingsbridge. Well, but they would do it if it was, like, really, really, really important. Okay. Rambo, if you don't hear back from me in two weeks, I'm dead. And that means I really need you to do this very, very important thing. Okay. And then they would do it. It's not a bad idea. All right. And then the I'm last okay evening it. before we go... I'm going to take some of the super special precious silk mm. from the case, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'm going to make a new, like, traveling outfit for Zinnia. <gasps> Aww. Is it magic? Does it give me protection? I don't know that he can make magic stuff yet. Fine. <laughs> it's very pretty, though. Thank you. What color is it? I don't remember. 
It was red. It was red yeah. silk. Yeah. Red silk. Oh. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's okay, go. so then you've got pl- backup plans with the crown. You've decided, I guess, what you're taking with you. And then I guess the thing I need to know, who has the key? Okay. Day Rune, because mm-hmm. he's the fastest. <laughs> if he changes form. He can get out oh, of there. The that's technically, you wouldn't be able to find it on me in form. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. But, but if you had to, you could turn into a bird of some sort and fly. Fly away. I could do that. Interesting. I will take the responsibility. Okay. Sorry, you can't swallow it. Or, or can I? <laughs> <laughs> no, watch. Yeah, I can swallow. <laughs> no. All right. Oh. All right. Then we're okay. going to do this. Yes, let's go. And you, are you taking horses? It's going to be road, a long sure. journey if we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Mm-hmm. So with plans in place, you pack your stuff. And at this point, it sounds like you've you've been busy at least half the day. I mean, assuming you're going to leave the same day that after the previous one, or were you going to take an extra day? No, 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 no okay. time. So you're going to leave like midday. Mm-hmm. Horseback, take the roads, and... But circle around Raven Rock. I don't want to go through Raven Rock. So you'll avoid, avoid going through Raven Rock. Yep. And then you do so. Bum, ba, lum, ba, lum, ba, lum, ba, bum, bum. <laughs> All right, skirting Raven Rock and making haste down the, uh, the west road here, skirting along the Hollowwood, past all the various familiar sites and places where you fought those bandits. We'll point out where we buried them. <laughs> okay. You see, there's like still... It's like, unnamed grave, right? Yeah, yeah. Three three shallow graves with a little marker. Mm-hmm. There is no apologies. No apologies. Um, the roads are, um, I mean, normal traffic. It's not like this is a bustling highway, but you pass a few a few farmers headed to market, and but no bandits or mercenaries or anybody that shows any signs of special interest or ill intent, hmm. as best as you can tell. So you uh, you head west, spending it takes you at least I think about three to four hours until you get to the the first kind of cross sign, where had you continued on, you would be at Little Falls by dusk, where you know there's a wonderful pastry shop, but instead you head south down a new path towards the town of Tallow, and about halfway there, where, you know, to the west is a small lake called Shady Shallows, and then to the east is just a stretch of low hills and scattered sheeps. You, you did see a couple farms on the way, but you didn't get close enough to really talk to anybody. But Darun is consulting his map. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you just point east, and you know that it's probably within like a mile of the road or so. It doesn't look like much. No, it doesn't. Do we do we see anything? Because I know he has the whole thing with the the crows or the ravens. Mm-hmm. Do I see any like anything like that, like birds or anything like that, or anything that might say someone's following us? You do not. Okay. I'm gonna try one of my new spells. Ooh. Cast speak to plants. Speak to plants. Yeah. Okay. They can tell me just general stuff. And so we get, how close are we to, I mean, if I use ley lines to improve my power based upon my class skill, mm-hmm. I would be able to identify a ley line pretty strongly. Yeah. I would assume so. So. I, when we are kind of like over that spot, I can kind of really know the intensity of it, right? Yeah. Okay. So how far are we on it? Right. Yeah. Okay. That That's it. You, you've you come to the spot on the road where the ley line, how I portrayed it here, mm-hmm. I mean, it obviously continues beyond in both directions, but where it kind of bisects this triangle connecting these three odd points that you'll, you believe are probably men hairs of some sort. Sure. But yeah, you're... The hair on the back of your neck tingles and you get a sense that, yeah, you are, yeah, you're standing under a, a pretty powerful ley line. Okay. So I'm going to grab a tree or not grab a tree, but hug it and say, Hey guy, um, can you tell me anything special that's around here? Do you, do you know 
of a secret that you may tell me. Okay, and this is called Speak with Plants. Speak with Plants. I appreciate this. And if anybody else would like to make some survival checks, you can, if that is a skill you have and you just... Uh... It's kind of like Speak with Dead only. 19 for fun. me. 9 for me. All right, so Pike, while you see you see Darun pause and dismount and walk over to a tree and give it a, a friendly hug, and he begins mm-hmm. whispering to it. Uh, you stand there, oblivious to the ley line, but probably looking at Darun's map, and you do notice that while this is not a road or anything, you, you do see that there are like fresh tracks here, including like wagon tracks, like somebody took a wagon east in that direction. Off away from the road? Yeah, yeah, off road in the direction you're looking right now. Okay. okay. Um, so you, you are aware of that. Okay. So Darun, so, you're, you are, so what's your question? Um, I'll start out with like, has anybody been around here recently? Other than us, of course. Yes. How, how many suns, how many moons ago was it? Oh, suns ago. I don't know. I'm trying to track time. And they don't know what a day is, right? So, like, how many sunrises ago? Oh. <laughs> hmm. One. Hmm. Hmm. Did they stop here? Some passed by me. Hmm. Close by. Okay. Is there any secrets around here in the ground? I know that's a really weird question. I'm just trying to get to a question, but I don't know how to really ask it. <laughs> The water is deep and sweet. Does it possess magic? Life is magic. You got a point there. Touche. Do you know what that means? <laughs> um, the force flows through all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, how long do you know how many sunrises? So they just passed through. Was it? It was light out, yes, when they passed through? No. Um, the sun slept. Okay. They rolled. So I'm, I'm talking to this tree, and it's giving me some answers here. Okay. Um, that you, makes perfect you, sense you, to, to me. To you, yes. Gosh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, do you have some questions that you want that I can talk to it? Can, can it tell us how many? Um, good question. How many of these beings, these upright beings walked through? Many over time. Mm. Many over time. And it was at night. And it was not too long ago. And, the, and, the, and uh, magic is life. Life is magic. And water is sweet. Water is sweet. Hmm. I'm just a simple country otter, but it mm. looks to me like there are some tracks here. Oh, yes, that, that would have worked too, yeah. Um, is there any other danger around besides woodpeckers? Or fire? Or, or men with axes? Or men with axes. I know not of danger. Mm. Okay. It was nice meeting you. My name's Darun. Yes. May you live a long life. And your trees and your branches extend to the highest... Reaches to the sun. Stay healthy. <laughs> Stay healthy. FYI, I really dig your bark. <laughs> Stay thirsty, my friend. That's Stay exactly. thirsty, my That's friend. That's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Speaking of, I am thirsty. As while you're looking at the tracks, I'm having this conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm glad we got to do that. Oh, there'll be plenty of times. So I'll make sure that it... Do we want to divert to chase this wagon, or... Keep going. Later we're going. Well, the, the, it's, the wagon went the direction went that direction. we, we want to go. Yes. Like it's. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said it went east, east. which is the direction we want to go. Oh, so we're so, on that road. Yeah. Yes. We're not headed down here then. We're headed towards the windmill. windmill. Correct. Yes. Ah, right. I missed that. Stay tuned, listeners. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We just um, be wary. Yes. I'm going to send Corda up ahead to sniff around. And just check out for danger. Okay, should should I send Nipper? Oh yeah, oh, right, so Nipper can smell can, too good too. Yeah, and they can communicate back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So come back, or let us howl if there's any danger. Or just like give me the danger impression oh, yeah, in my brain. Yeah. yeah. 
They they know they know each other probably pretty well yeah. by now. Well, Corda will pick up a scent, and mm-hmm. I mean, if you want her to track, she can, I mean, she definitely is following the tracks of the wagon. Mm-hmm. So she ranges out a, a little bit ahead. Does it seem like if we're looking at the tracks, we're 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 off the road or we're on the road, right? I, I guess we're going off, off the, road the road now. Yeah, off okay. yeah. the road. And these tracks are going off the road. Yes. Yes. Okay. Following the ley line. But is there a trail? Like, is the ley line like you know how like they have lines, you know, like the power lines over hills and stuff, and it's just all this cut out area, and you kind of see where it goes. Or the li- ley lines just is just all covered. Because are they going on a path, or are they just creating their own? Well, I mean, the Forest Service isn't clearing the land for the sure, line here. Sure, <laughs> sure. Something that I was supposed to do like months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Never got to it. Um, it's so buggy out here. Yeah. <laughs> give me give me another survival check. And okay. If, you, if you're voicing any of this out loud, you can ask yeah. people to aid. I would, I would ask out loud because I like to talk out loud. Okay. What do you think, guys? I will endeavor to help. Okay, sure. so just make um, a survival check. He's yeah. asking about I've got trails. Uh, 23. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I got 14. <laughs> so you aid, getting that to a 25. A... Yeah, well, it gets him a 25. A pat on the back is always helpful. Actually, nine. So th- there are, there's definitely a, a game trail here. And okay. you suspect that nature maybe sort of instinctively will follow ley lines sometimes just mm-hmm. because they're kind of drawn to it. I'm talking about like the trail of, of human, like, of the wheels and stuff like that, they're going headed towards off, not the ley lines. I'm talking about the, this trail of people. Well, okay. Are they going, because I want to, the reason why I'm asking is I want to get, are they, is it like a single file? Are they spreading out going through kind of the woods? What is this trail? Are they creating their own trail? Or are they just going on, on a, basically an animal trail? Okay. That's what I was getting at. They're all in, in parallel. So you were able to determine that there are probably long established game trails here, mm-hmm. maybe primarily sheep, maybe some, some predators, but just deer, that type of thing is definitely some established game trails. This is mostly open. Sure. Like there's some, there's some scattered trees and hills, but it is mostly just rolling verdant. Pastoral. It's pastoral. Yeah. But it's very sure. hilly. So your line of sight isn't. Isn't as long as it is in other places. This is grazing land. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Kind of like around here. Yeah. So, but but the uh, the wagon tracks. Yeah. You can tell with your impressive total of twenty five and Pike's assistance that mm-hmm. all this is kind of newish. Like those are not long established wagon trading trails. Like somebody recently started traveling along this exact path. Sure. Which coincides with both the ley line and pre-existing game trails. And it'd be abnormal for them to go through the game trails on a wagon. Uh, so, and then yeah. side by side, right? This looks yeah, like you, you, a marching perhaps. Yeah. Pace. You you don't think that there's any coincidence going on here. Okay. Yeah. This is, this is all, you, you know, you, you tell you you're in the right place. Okay. So, and it does look like marching, almost like a marching pace, right? Just mm-hmm. the footsteps are very, or there's not even footsteps. It's just wagon, it's just wagon tracks. Well, so there's you, many there's, of them. There would have to be something like ho- like horse horses or something, right? Or yeah, you yeah. There's there's all sorts of tracks. Okay. Um, I mean, there's you can see see several wagons have come by here oh, at least probably within the last. Wagons. You know, it's right. not like like one because they don't exactly. Sure. It's not like this nice established ruts where the airbag right. goes on the exact same spot. They're just following the same path. Yeah. So yeah, you can pick up a number of different wagons that come by. Lots of different horses, people walking. I was just going back to your question of how many. Just mm. trying to get an idea. That's why. But it doesn't sound like they're it's, – it, it sounds like it's pretty hard to determine. I, I would say it would be impossible for you to tell for yeah. sure, but um, you can tell that even though this may not be used like daily back and forth and back and forth, a lot, a lot, a lot of people have come this way recently. Recently. All right. Well, I'm going to try something weird. And I'm going to open up to the area, to the psychometry of the ground, okay. and use ears of the city to try and see a stream of past events and people to determine the answer to the question, who has come by recently? Hmm. 
Target of Spells sees and hears a stream of past scenes and pieces of conversation related to local people and events. Flashes are so brief, it is impossible to identify individual people. But when the target concentrates on a particular topic, you can piece together a coherent narrative told in a multitude of changing voices. So you do a diplomacy check to gather information as if you had spent 1d4 hours talking to local people. So this is an edge case, but I'm not trying to like identify people or anything. I just want to kind of draw a glimpse of scenes of like wagons passing to see if there's a particularly large group, you know, or what kinds of people have been by. Okay. And I don't know if he'll succeed, but I'll burn the slot anyway. Give it a try. And I do love the spell. I love using the spell. Um, interesting, interesting use of it here. I've always kind of presupposed it was based on people witnessing it, but you're just like, these are the people walking by, talking, and leaving their, yeah, their conversations. Yeah, the, past, the imp- past psychic impressions that they've left. It's a, originally, it's a divination school, even though I'm doing it psychically. Right, right. Okay. So everybody kind of pauses as you get, get down and study the ground and cast this, and you start, again, you start putting together these little individual pieces and visions, and they start forming a larger image of your mind of uh, these small groups, whispered conversations, quiet conversations. Like he's not like uh, joyful travelers or people merrily singing. Like these are quiet, secretive people mm. traveling in the dark and wagon after wagon go by. Like you get a sense that it's like this staged movement mm. of quiet conversations. Um, but as far as the information you get, I mean, you, you, cause you can't, I don't think you would even tell like how many people, but at like right. dozens and dozens and dozens of people, like a, like a substantial, like a lot of people have come this way kind of recently. And even though you don't get, you can't identify, identify individual people because there is a significant similarity. They are all dwarves. Ah. Huh. So, I will yes, pass that all dark the cloak of, dwarves, dark cloak dwarves, and many of them just groups of wagons, scores of dwarves have come by. I am thinking about perhaps I should turn into some kind of flight, and I could go and check ahead. If this is open area, it'd be a lot easier. This whole thing sucks. If they're traveling at night for secrecy's sake, mm-hmm. then. Any time that we spend on horses, we're, th- today we're catching up on them because horses go faster than wagons. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long you can stay in flight form. Twelve hours. Okay. okay. So that's not a problem. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I could do, oh, we could they travel by night as well. I was like, a giant falcon I could turn into and it can carry, I don't know what consider medium load would be 500 pounds. But I could, I can also, it's a uh, night creature it hunts at night but i i was just trying to get like a good count because mm-hmm. otherwise i agree we can mm-hmm. go and keep going forward but perhaps at some point we should when we camp out at night when they travel we should do i could do a little scouting okay well aren't we very close now to yeah. them yeah you think you are to them well to yeah. to doom to grinder okay. where we think yeah. doom grinder is so we need to get we need to Let's go forward and see, because, I mean, if they're looking for the same thing we are, right. they're going to be somewhat close to what we're looking at. Right. So, um, I think we I should just... I would just like not to go in completely well, we're blind gonna... to what not going in what, how, what we're up against. We can try to get closer to where we think Doom Grinder is. Okay. We all agree that we need to do this inconspicuously. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So, you continue moving yep, carefully. All right. So you, um, yeah, within the hour, you crest uh, the next low hill, and you see up ahead, probably like 500 yards away, uh, another long, low, rectangular-shaped hill almost, with a strange, solid black windmill atop it, towering like 60 feet, seemingly from this distance, made of stone resting on this hill. And from your vantage point where you can see, um, 
there's no sign of any structures or any other, you know, different buildings or anything like that. But you can make out kind of at the base of the hill uh, on the south side, kind of where you're coming up, uh, like a large mound of like fresh dirt, like probably like 50, like a 15 foot, like a yard, like a big pile of like fresh dirt that's been piled up there. And nearby, what looks like might be like a tattered tent, partially collapsed. But Mm. the tracks and the ley line lead to the base of that hill. That doesn't seem to be on any of the map. Mm -mm. Mm. So, is that, am I kind of spotting that right now? That's why, that's where that, that, I put that hammer there because that was what we were originally calling it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. But that's where the, where we see that though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, here. I put your party number there. Well, I think we gotta think it's under. If I think it's under there. So, can we do a perception check? Can we see if there's any like guards, anyone sitting up? I mean, first off, has Corder sensed anything? And Nipper. I mean, Corder Corder has been on mm-hmm. like a scent. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's picked up. Like I don't I don't know if you've called her back along the way here, but yeah, she's definitely tracking. Right. People have passed this way, but you no, know, you have no sense of any danger. But assuming that you kind of pause here before, because there's really no way to approach this. There's no cover. Um, That's why but, I say, are, is this best to leave our horses here yeah. and go afoot? Yep, yeah, let's do that. How tall's the grass? I mean, it's just mostly prairie grass, so probably twelve to twelve inches or so. Prairie grass can grow very, very tall. Oh. You know, like six feet or more. What kind of prairie grass are we talking about? Is it short grass or the tall, tall grass? Big, big blue stem. <laughs> Come on, you knew this was gonna happen. So I'm not thinking of like <laughs> Southwest prairies. I'm, I guess I'm thinking of like pastoral, where like wild sheep graze. Um, mm, more like a. So, I don't know. So you are thinking of Southwest. one of those wimpy English prairies instead of good yeah. American prairies, right? You're thinking more like the sage brush. Kind mm-hmm. of open yeah. So area. you're talking about a short grass prairie, not a tall grass prairie. Yeah. Apparently that's what I'm talking about. Mm. But there's no trees or anything. I don't know. I feel like this is a, okay. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue. Test it's your the prairie. soil. We'll find out. <laughs> it's your prairie. Yeah, all right. It's my prairie. <laughs> um, and this could be a prairie that's not even in this world, right? Yeah. Now we have to it toss could be a, a short a prairie and do like a survey common. of all yeah. the life forms within yes. the hoop. Yeah. And, yeah. No, no. It's going to take forever to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Side quest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's no trees around here. Any kind of cover. We're just, there's hills. That's it. Yeah. I mean, there, there's probably like little scatterings of, of, of bits and trees here and there. But yeah, there's not, there's nothing. You just have to do as you will. Yeah. Stealth up there. A place to tie up the horses. I mean, you can stake them down this, the side of this hill just before then. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. there's enough grass yeah. there. If you give them a long lead, they can at least graze a little bit. Okay. I think, I think we just stealth up there. I think that's all we can do. I mean, you can wait till dark. Mm-hmm. But that might be too long if they're already in there. I mean, if there's fresh dirt, they've obviously dug something up. Well, it's a lot of dirt. Yeah. Like that, you'll have to get closer to start evaluating yeah. that. But yeah, yeah. something has been dug up. Something has been dug. But you already know that people have been coming here now probably for days or weeks. Who knows? Mm-hmm. So it, you think your notion of being in a race now may not be accurate. Okay. So did you ever make a decision on the disguise self? Like how much can I change my size? Oh, gosh. I thought we did and that you could... I don't remember. Was that you could adjust? Because it said the spell said you could adjust by a by, foot. By foot. Mm-hmm. So since you're already a foot, I'm over a foot. Thank you. I thought we had a conversation that you could look like a human baby or something. Well, I want to know how much smaller I can get. Would be a technically. I mean, if you could get a foot taller, because I, I, I am twelve point five inches tall. You can appear a foot taller. Or shorter. That, and this was the this was the <laughs> thing. discussion that I had with the DM, and I I don't know that I ever got an official ruling, so I'm asking. Yeah, because you just the whole ferret thing just breaks the rules. Uh, six inches. Okay. You could you could easily walk through the grass and not be seen if that was what you're looking for. 
but actually you could already do that. So you want to look like a dragonfly. Yeah. yeah that's kind of what I was yeah. going to go for. Yeah. Because it says you can seem one foot t- foot shorter or taller, thin, fat, or in between. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. not just height we're talking about. It's also yeah. spatial. Does it say you have to be disguise yourself as a humanoid? It, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's a humanoid. So not so. a dragon. Well, no, but she's flying. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have to really. Dis- she can disguise herself as. I mean, she's a fairy, right? Yeah. So she can still oh, fly. But was, doesn't it also say it has to be a humanoid of your type? Yes. 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 You you cannot yeah. change your creature type. So, so so she has to. That was that was. The she'll deal. be a smaller fairy. You had yeah. Be, you had to be a fae. Yes. But that's even better if you want to be a dragonfly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's small. Well, I can just make myself look like a very very small fairy that you know might. Someone think would be an insect that could pass as a potential you know butterfly, basically. You'll be small enough that I don't think anybody could tell until so, you're like right. That is what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So Zinnia gets even smaller, at least the way she looks. And, I, and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to change the color of my outfit to be more subdued. I'm going to be very, yeah, I'm going to look boring as I can, as much as I can. All right. That's hard for Zinnia. It is. So, so then what, then what? We're going to stealth through the, as quietly as we can through the grass, looking for any coverage and trying to go slow and. Stealth. I would really just really like turn into a bird to, to uh, like a hawk yeah. just to look overhand and see really get the mm-hmm. detail yeah. of it. It's going to seem pretty normal that the hawk is flying in the prairie. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to turn into a hawk. Yep. Well, just a standard hawk. So it's it's a, considered a tiny animal. Okay. Yep. And now you're going to go flying out over that hill. Yep. Okay. Many 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 feet above it in the air. And you can I'm guessing probably... my vision is pretty sharp. And you'll probably see anybody that's watching. Um, I'm just, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to just scout the whole thing. Why not? All right. I have changed your map. I had already put your pawns kind of on the south side. So if you want to just kind of scroll down. Because the, the, way, the way it sort of works is that the, the trail roughly would run across the bottom of the map. And then as you kind of get closer to that hill, it, it sort of breaks off and curves up towards the hill there. Mm-hmm. And the ley line itself, you get a sense, runs right through that hill. So I, I added, I added, added a little bit of uh, li- uh, lines there to sort of give you ele- elevation lines. So the hill itself is about, like I said, it's like kind of a oddly rectangular shaped hill. It's about eighty feet tall or so, with this towering black windmill atop of it. So as you sneak closer and closer, you can see there's this giant pile of dirt. Kind of a beat down area. Looks like the remains of a small camp. And then you see there's a, a wagon and a cart sitting there. Darun's going to do a flyby as the other three of you are creeping up. Mm-hmm. So, Darun, you, and you're going to just like circle around. Yeah, I'm almost like I'm just a hawk looking for prey of the prairie. I mean, give me a, Is there anything specific? I w- would like to see, like, first of all, would be what kind of, if we're dealing with anything that's. Nature. Almost like a group, you know, like a, are they all identifiable as looking alike, similar, um, uniform versus or anything of that nature? Um, if how many of them there are and perhaps um, like what, how, how far they've gotten. Okay. Well, you don't see anybody. Okay. Uh, but go ahead and give me a perception check. Okay. Or am I using sight or am I using uh, sight? Okay. It's a 26. 26. Yep. Okay. All right. So you circle around. You said you're high up though. Can you, uh, this? Yeah. Um, I would certainly get low enough to where I could, to determine, you know, they're not gonna look like ants to me, but. Well, I didn't know. Are you, I guess, are you going higher than the windmill? Yes. And just kind of letting the wind kind of take my, you know, I'm yeah. sailing yeah. in the air. Okay. Then, yeah, I mean, it, it's a hill with grass. Uh, there's no trees atop of it. I mean, other than that, you spot at the base of the hill, it, yeah, where that big pile of dirt is, it mm-hmm. does look like there's a, like an excavation, like 
apparently people dug into the side tools. of that hill. Yeah. There are. There's there's like scattered of tool scattered piles of tools mm-hmm. left, like on the ground at the base of that that pile. The the couple tents that are still there look like they've kind of been abandoned. So they've probably been there, you know, just like somebody didn't bother to break it down and now the the wind is kinda of like knocked them over and some of them looked tattered to begin with. So this is an elevation down. Yeah. You're okay. looking down. The bright green compared to the darker green is I higher. was just trying to show that yeah, yeah I'm where, just trying where to get the, where the hill that's a yeah. down down elevation. Windmills on top of this. Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, um but so you kind of circle around. So the windmill mm-hmm. is uh it has like a conical mm-hmm. um you know almost like a, a tower top like sure. a defensible tower. And you notice that the very top, because I said the, the windmill itself is like 60 feet tall. You do pick out what look like arrow slits. Okay. Ringing the top of that tower. True. Um, I am going to go fly and land on top of the, is there like a wind vane or something in nature? Or I'm going to get on the top peak of that. I'm going to fly down and land on the top peak of the windmill. Uh, okay, you circle around and uh, gently land atop this giant black stone windmill. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Okay. It's only 30 feet. But... All right. While you're doing that, okay. our other three mm-hmm. have continued to approach. Yep. And I'm casting Detect Thoughts. All right. You periodically pick up Zinnia's thoughts. But as the... So Sorry. go ahead and give me... <laughs> Stealth checks for your just your general approach. My thoughts though are I'm a beautiful butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Mostly I'm just seeing how many thoughts are up ahead. So uh this is a stealth? Yes. This is a thirty. All right. All right. So you're moving slowly and quietly through the grass. Twenty six. I will assume that court is following them. 23 for me. So, so I'll roll for Okay. Um, it's going to be a 19. 19. Okay. Uh, I mean, and Nipper's a 21. So you all being, I mean, very quiet. Very, very quiet as you stealthily move across. across. You know, you're probably a couple hours from dusk. The, the day is cool. Clouds are rolling in. Looks like it might storm tonight, possibly. You do get a sense that there's uh, like a little crackle in the air. Just a, like that. Maybe the humidity is starting to pick up just a little bit, but you, uh, yeah, you move up, approaching, you're probably within, I don't know, 50, 60 feet of that mound of dirt. No sign of any horses. And you can see the track leads up to that dig site where you can see this small, almost like a mining hole in the side of this hill. But again, no thoughts, no, no motion, no activity, just quiet. The wind blowing the grass. Darun, you... I assume you're casting it down? Yeah. Okay. Like that that first, it looks like there's the, like there's almost like a piece, of, I don't know what it would call architecturally, like the kind of little dome piece on top. Right? Yeah, but that's why I, was like, I, I called it conical. That's just how I kind of imagined it, where it's, because uh, it seems to be like, well, we'll do one thing at a time. Okay. Because it's, it is like a black stone really hard beneath your little, your feet True. having a little trouble finding purchase, but you can see birds have periodically stopped here. I mean, there's some, oh. yeah, whatever. Oh yeah. It looks like a oh. um, well, birdie Robin pooped here. Yeah. You, you detect magic. Like this, this whole thing radiates magic. Do I notice any footprints around there? Mm, around where? Like I am looking for possibly a trail from the dig site up to the windmill. Well, I mean, you're like 60 feet up, so it'd be a little difficult, but... Um, I mean, I can see a mouse, would it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. 60 feet's probably nothing to a, a hawk, right? You know, there, there's, there's, no, there's definitely no trail, but okay. sure, okay. yes. Sure. At least some people have kicked rocks and wandered around and... and but not like a trail. There's no trail. Okay. Um, you do see like... Um, Little wooden stakes, like marker stakes, that would like hammered into the ground in various places. Okay. Like somebody was kind of like measuring or marking things off. Like an excavation site would be? Yeah. Or surveyor. Okay. You, you realize, and I don't know what mechanic we're using as far as this. We're just rolling with this. Sure. Like 
you are in the ley line right now. Yeah. Like it's like you feel it now the longer you sit here. Like it's just flowing right through you, right through this windmill. And like probably all of your feathers are starting to like floof up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you just, yeah, the energy is just like starting to really supercharge you. Okay. And you didn't specify it, but I mean, you're a stone guy. You, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stone guy, not a stoned guy. You're not a stone guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is, this is not new construction. Like you, yeah. you've never seen this windmill before. Like, you know, it wasn't on any of your, your things to go check, but yeah, this is, this is some type of men hair and. Mm. It is old. Like this is like, how come nobody told you this was just sitting over here? It's probably, I would say that you don't know what kind of mechanic it's called place magic. A second level man here, sir, savant learns to identify and tap into ley lines in different types of terrain. So okay. that would just be my class. Yeah. Um, so um, this, what kind of stone are we dealing with? It's black. It's, so like obsidian. Yeah. This mm. that obsidian again. Mm. And the obsidian wouldn't be from here. It would have to be brought out from somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Like there's no, mm. this would have taken, this would have taken a decent sized quarry. Yeah. I mean, it's like, this is not like a skyscraper, but, but. But there was no talk about this whatsoever. No. Not, not, not anybody looking for work on yield, uh, you know, yield job marketplace. <laughs> y- yield indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, make a perception check while you're, okay. while you're, 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 you're you, you see your companions mm-hmm. very stealthily. So I'm looking sight again because I get, uh, no, here, here. here. Okay. So standard. Uh, they, uh, they've, I, are you guys wanting to keep moving up? Are, yes. I was going to ask, yeah. are we within 60 feet of the tent at this point? I am. Okay. Well, that yes. is, if that is your desire, then Yes. Okay, 15. if I'm within 60 feet of the tent I and I am still detecting no sentient beings, then I'm a little concerned about where everyone went. Yes. So um, Zinnia would be, I think, 60 feet from the, the, the tent and the entrance there. So uh, no, nothing, nothing. Still nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm less concerned about stealth now and more concerned about... People having been absorbed by an evil, cursed windmill, but you know that's yes. just me. Would you? Would I know that you could read my thoughts? And could you read my thoughts? Only if you're within sixty feet. Okay, I can detect your surface. But if I thoughts. flew down, I could. I, I could, would. I know that you could. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know that you're probably doing it right now. Actually, you yeah. wouldn't know that I'm doing it. You know that I can pull surface thoughts from something within sixty feet if I'm concentrating on yeah. it. Okay, and just for scale. Yeah, you're like over 200 feet from them yeah. right now. Yeah. Just to give people an idea. So I rolled a 15 in perception. Okay. It's really windy up here. Yeah, it is It is kind of windy. You hear the wind kind of, it's picking up maybe a little bit. So just kind of, you hear it kind of whistle just a little bit through the. Is it through operational the, windmill? Is the windmill No, it's, it's not It's not moving at all. Okay. Uh, but, but also, <laughs> like, it doesn't look like wind would move it. The It's not. Yeah, it's like that's it's not exactly fan blades. What is it? I mean, it's, it has has four cross beams, sure, but sure. they're they're like they're made out of stone also, probably reinforced with steel inside because that would not be possible, but like it's far too heavy for wind to move that structure. It's disguised right. as a windmill. Yeah. It's disguised right. as a windmill. I just didn't know if it was like phys- physically disguised or, you know, magically disguised. Like something was built over something just to hide something. All right. Um, well, I am, do I, I see them? Oh yeah. Yeah. You, my, you're, my you're, you're, you see, absolutely. Um, yeah. I'm just going to watch them from here. Just keep, keep my ears open. I'm just, I'm trying to detect, you know, if I saw arrow slits, is, is there someone beneath me? And, you know. Right. You'd have to kind of, there's like, like you can't even really. Sure. Cool. I mean, I guess you could like clamber down to the edge and mm-hmm. try to do a upside down bird look. <laughs> How <laughs> yeah, windows are, are like what three inches in height, right? Yeah, I mean, probably something like that. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, as soon as they get close to, I want to see them observe them get next to the camp, 
and then okay. I mean, for now, that's what I'll they, just. That's what I'm going to do right now. Sounds like they have moved up to the camp. Then, yeah. if they want to go ahead and keep moving their pawns up yep. to the camp, once they get to the camp, I'm going to kind of circle around and fly down close enough, and maybe just perch myself on a wagon over there, making it look like I am not, and um, kind of just flap my wings. Um, I, are you? Yeah. Are yeah. you? Are you just watching me? Because I'm thinking there's arrow slits up there. And uh, it's magic. It's not a real windmill. I think it's fairly obvious he's trying to report. So I'm going to concentrate on him and see what I pick up for his surface thoughts. That's not a real windmill up there. It's made of a weird stone. Hmm. It's magical also. And there are arrow slits. Perhaps someone's inside. They should be careful. The windmill is <laughs> freaky. There's arrow slits. We could be under observation from them. I don't know if someone wants to investigate the, the window slits. I'm going to investigate the tent because I don't detect any thinking people anywhere nearby. Okay. So I'm going to event, investigate the tent and then look at the, the dig to see if I can figure out where do people go. Well, it said it looked like a mine shaft. Yes, but... So most likely they went down. Potentially. Okay. So you kind of root through the tent. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It, it, Does it look ransacked, hastily abandoned, or just in poor condition? Because you said it's a little tattered. Yeah. It looked. It looks careful, uh, carelessly just left behind. Not Neither ransacked or anything like that. So whoever was using it, you can see tracks all around here. Have the fi- there's a fire pit where they collected stones, whatever. If you go, you know, check that. Like it hasn't been used in probably days. Okay. But if you want to, I mean, yeah. So there's there was nothing left inside the tent. It looks like maybe it was just damaged, and somebody thought this is garbage. And I'm so there's no bed rolls or no. map sacks or no. anything. No. So they cleared out on their own. They problem. did. Yeah. 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 They probably found better digs somewhere else. Or went for supplies or something, but the carts are behind. But no horses to pull the carts or wet or oxen. There are none. Uh, you, you can start doing more. I mean, if you you want to just do more survival and start yep. like walking around the area. And, okay, yep. I'll do one. Well, while they're doing that, Zinnia is going to um, make her way over to the base of the windmill. Okay, so do you think Zinnia? Flutters up to the base of the windmill. 21 survival. 27. No, 26 survival. I got a nat 20. Okay, so the two of you start looking around as uh, Darun and Bergform observes carefully. Uh, yeah, you are, with those numbers, I mean, you can deduce that there was a large group of people here. Obviously, it was a dig site, excavation. They've dug this tunnel. Uh, you find spots for more tents. I mean, I mean, based on you know, like the little, it's like you, st- you find mm-hmm. some more tent stakes and things around, and like some other a few more spots where there are some more fire pits. Uh, you find horse tracks, and you do see that uh, a, a, a group of horses were led away. Okay, and your your best guess. I mean, there was four or five dozen people camping here based on just the signs left behind. They weren't, they weren't taking any really precautions to hide themselves, but they did break most of the camp. And you think they've gone into that hole, except for, whoever, except for, except whoever, for the horse. Yeah. Whoever's <laughs> led the horse, except for the ones who led the horses away. Four horses. <laughs> Let's shove down the hole. Um, okay. Now I'm worried. Either there's like three dozen people down the hole or they found what they're looking for and they've all left. And I don't know which one is which. Well, um, Fireball would find out. (laughs) I'm sorry. Off table. Fireball. (laughs) No, you, you, your tracking was good enough and Mm -hmm. you probably have some animal handling. Like the horses were, um, uh, was it when you tie them together? Tethered. Tethered. Mm -hmm. Like they were led as a group, not ridden away as a group. Okay, okay, so like, so like, basically, people. I what I'm wondering is because I I got the nat twenty. Is it more likely that they f- they found the opening to go into this into this thing, and like a bunch of people are leading? What direction are they leading the horses away? The horses were led off to the 
east. So, so towards the other windmill. I mean, that is that the direct, direction. That is that is the direction. Yeah. Whether mean, that was Geller, their destination or, or Geller's not. Keep. Yeah, that is also actually directly and kind of in line with that too. Because that's why I was wondering: is it, do these people are they heading? You know, like that's what I'm wondering: are they heading? Where are they taking the horses to? Yeah, but you you feel you feel reasonably good that only a few people probably led all the horses away. So it's like, yeah, they're taking the horses somewhere else. All right. Well, Zinnia goes over to the windmill. I'm going to go down the hole. I'm behind. With my detect thoughts going, which should hopefully help uh, me not run into the back of a group. And I'm going to take a little leather sock off of my quarter staff so that the continual light that's on it um, lights my path. Okay. Since I am not yeah. dark sighted. All right. Me neither. So you can go to Zinua. Zinni, so Zinni, you've you've flown up to the base of this windmill, mm-hmm. and what I mean, what so you've had the opportunity to at least to probably circle around it if you wanted to do that. Yes. And I don't know if you've got survival, but you could probably see signs that people have been. I have no survival. Okay. <laughs> you probably see a couple of these little measuring stakes here and there. Okay. It's like you can't miss it. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So, is there any way into the windmill from the bottom? No, not from the bottom. There's no doors or external okay. exits. I mean, Darren said there were arrow slits up top. Yes, so I'm going to start like flying spiral around the around it until I see like a way in. I'm going to fly up again and perch myself while she's doing that to, to keep an eye out on her. A minute. Okay, so Darren slowly circles your, circles your way back up yep. to the top. Zinnia's circling away, uh, basically climbing the tower, so to speak. And Ismi, what is, so you, I'm, see, you see Pike like walk over and just start creeping into the hole. I'm right behind him. I'm like, I'm not, yeah, I'm right behind him. I'm like, oh, crap. And I'm going to Greg probably, probably my, um, my composite bow kind of just have it down and ready in case we have to. And I'm like, at least if we're inside, we're kind of like protected, but I'm, I'm going to see like, I'm, I'm going to stay with him because I'm afraid he's going to go do something and get himself caught. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not like having it so that it is um, a weapon. I'm just kind of like taking it off and having it if we need it. And I'm following right behind him because he's already gone in. So I'm going in behind him. Okay. So split the party. It's great. It's just fantastic. And Court is going to lay down and put her paws over her ears yeah. and go, or eyes go, oh, like looking at you, like, oh, this is a good idea. I'm going to stay here. That's a great idea. <laughs> okay. Pike, the, 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 the tunnel is, it, it, actually, it's, it's well done. I don't know what your dwarves expertise. Dwarves did it, so. Go do it. Like, it actually looks like, Amen to that. like people who have experienced mining dug that. And if you have no skill in that, it looks exactly as you would expect, like this reinforced yep. with some timbers and stuff. It's not down, though. It is totally horizontal. Okay. So you're not descending. You're going into the side. Of the and is the direction towards the windmill? Uh, no. If you drew, a, basically made a straight line north-south, the windmill is actually like, I don't know, what is that, like? Northeast. 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 So, like, you'd have to have almost a parallel line. No, it's, you're going, like, straight in. So cool. you, you get about 30 feet into this, moving quietly. There's no no um, lanterns or anything like that. But I would say you probably get about 30 feet in, and you start picking up some thoughts. Ah. Zinnia, you went round and round and round and round to the very top, just below the, the conical top, up top of this windmill, and fly up to an arrow slit and look inside. Yes. Okay. Are you perching? Or are you just just like hovering there for a second? Yeah, I'm. I'm fluttering like a beautiful butterfly. Like mm-hmm. a beautiful a little butterfly. Little butterfly. Oh. All right, you uh, you flutter there, looking in. I mean, it's still ample light coming in, so you can easily see inside of this, you know, round chamber, the center of which has some machinery. You see like cogs and gears and stuff that looks like they connects to some something, and then obviously connects to the, the windmill. So there's not a lot of space around the sides of this machinery, but 
you look, you listen, and then a dwarf, a dwarfish face peers like through the slit right at you. And there's probably a moment where you both pause in surprise as you look at each other, him maybe not registering what he's looking at because you look like a fairy butterfly. And we'll see you next week. Oh, Oh. okay. Okay. I think I know what's going to happen next. (laughs) Fire? No. 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 This is... No. I think you possibly put like a wooden shard in his eye. Oh. Oh. No, she's got a... She's, oh, got she's, got a, oh, right. she's got a lightsaber now. She's got a lightsaber now. You're going to cauterize. But, his but the thing is, is these guys might not be working with our friend, um, working with our our buddy there. They or they might. Would elves and dwarves work together? Maybe for the right amount of money. Mm, we'll find out. Power is power. We went long. Who knows what the next session is going to hold? We're going to find out. Oh, hope we're going to find out. All right. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed our show and want more, please leave us a rating and review on whichever platform you use. And of course, feel free to share us on social media. We'll be back next week with more adventures in the world of TELUS. To tide you over, you can read more about the cast, characters, and the world of TELUS at AdventuresEdgeRPG.com. 